YouTube, uh, House of Champs here with Pat Hoban for the first time. YCS Dallas uh, 2015. Any shout outs to start with? Um, so, Ultra Reality Games, and I'm writing a book soon. Um, you guys should read it. It's about Yu Gi Oh! Alright. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Um, I played I play Shadows this weekend. I really just didn't want to play Necros, like, I don't know, they're boring. Uh, I played Two Beasts, Dragon. This card sucks. <laughs> but, like, yeah, he just sucks, actually. Um, two Falco, three Squamata. This Squamata's the best one just because you can, um, when you fuse in the construct with him, it's an El Shadal and four and at, like, search El Shadal from your deck, so it's kind of broken. Um, these two. I played the Clowns, but, like, I didn't play Hat Shaker just because it always, like, made my hand worse. Like, I like being able to search it, sure, but, like, whenever you just straight draw it, it's usually not very good. Plus, I didn't play the Earth Fusion, so. That's, I can guess why I didn't play the Earth Fusion. <laughs> Uh, BLS, and then I played Blazeman, Raiden, and um, Photon Thrasher with uh, two Rotas to go get them. And the, uh, the idea behind this is like, you have the six fusions, but like, if you only play six, then you're not going to draw one a fair amount, and the deck kind of sucks if you don't have a fusion card. Um, so like, I wanted to have more. Um, so I played all of these cards because then it's like having four extra fusions. But then when you have the um, when you already have a fusion, you can just go get uh, one of these cards off the of rota. So like your hand doesn't get clogged from having too many fusions. Um, and then great in school. Uh, I played Stardust. Um, he's just a light that starts above Rota, which is another big part about Photon Thrasher, is just being a light. Um, Photon Thrasher is actually one of my favorite cards, just because you can make uh, Tsukiyomi and Minerva when you don't have um, uh, spells. But usually, actually, with the, between the Rotas and the Blazeman and uh, Polly, you usually can get to the first one pretty consistently. You know, like maybe two games, I didn't, just never drew a spell this weekend. So, that's pretty high, I guess. Um, I played three insta fusion. Um, this card's cool because it summons a window too. So like, you don't have a shit all in your hand, but you have like a fusion and a light. You can just randomly make a construct. Plus, an organ's pretty good. Um, foolish. I played three upstart. Got to get to fusions and uh, refusion. Um, this card's like premature. Um, but. It's kind of better because like when you summon back the um, uh, the construct, it's not negated by Colossalus and it's not negated by Unicorn. Um, they can't bounce over Brio, so like it's just really good. It's just really good like summoning um, fusions back from the grave. Yeah, bringing back Norden's pretty big. Yeah, you know, I remember. Um, the, I think the last time I talked to Shadal was uh, Toronto last year, and it was something really similar where I played like three Soul Charge, and because like I thought it was amazing in the mirror because you would like Soul Charge to get stuff back. And then they would just see a fusion monster on, on the board, and then they play like Shadal Fusion, and then like start like, going through the deck, and they're like, nah, this one is from the grave, and they're like, oh, send two really bad things I didn't intend on sending to someone like a window or something. It was just like super so far. And, and Refusion kind of does the same thing. Um, then for the traps, I just played uh, Core, Vanity, and three Breakthrough. I, th I actually thought about not playing this just because um, you set Falco off most of your Shadal plays, and then so like if you have Vanity set behind it, it, it kind of sucks there. Um, but it's Vanity, so I just play it anyway. Like it's just that good. <laughs> then I played three Construct, um, two Linda. Water Fusion, two Norden, uh, Tsukiyomi. This card's really cool, um, especially like when you don't have the fusions. Uh, you could just Photon Thrasher and a Clown. That's usually how you make it, and then you like dis or you set all your hand that isn't should all effects, and you detach, discard your hand, and draw two, and then trigger whatever should all effects you used. Um, so it just fixes your hands a lot. And I played Minerva. Um, shout out to James. Uh, this card's broken actually in this deck because like uh, you detach one mill three once per turn and then like if you happen to hit a 
Raiden, which I only played one, but like that, it, it didn't happen. But like the, the important part is when you detach three or when you mill three. I mean, um, it'll trigger and it should all affect you mill because it's not a cost. Um, it's kind of like a rank four Dante essentially. It just gives you the chance to get lucky and like you're not gonna win an event if you're not lucky, so I want to play cards to give myself chances to get lucky. Um, so I, I don't know, I thought it was actually really, really good. I, I summoned a lot. Um, and then I played Castell, um, Exoton, uh, whatever he's called, Deep 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 Deleted, Dweller, and Stardust. Uh, Stardust is just because, like, I, I definitely wanted a Synchro to play in general, because like Falco is a tuner, but the thing is, like, you don't actually ever synchro with Falco. Um, but like playing Raiden, I felt like I needed. I couldn't play three tuners and not play any synchros, and I, I thought Sardis was the best because Shadals have a really bad time against um, Dark Hole and Regeki, and because like you just commit your entire hand to the board, and then um, he can protect Flow Gates like mistake. Um, so I, I thought he was really good. Plus, in the uh, uh, I actually decided. Five extra deck monsters, but I decided like uh, Diamond and uh, Ptolemaeus for the mirror. So then it's actually really easy to just go Stardust and I'm in the mirror and then like they're like coming out to it. So. Were there uh, any notable matchups from the week? Um, I played against like three of the Psy Frame decks. And Dang. That, deck's, that deck's actually really crazy. Like, I, I played three of them in a row, and I spent like the first like literally half an hour figuring out what it was, what was going on. And I lost game one, and like by the time I figured it out, like so much time had gone by, and then like when I, I won in game two, but then like we ended up drawing. It was, like it just took so long to figure out what was going on. But then I played two more, but then like at that point I had yeah. previously played that guy, and I had, I, I had figured it out by that point, so I won the other two. Um, Dinkaseka, this card's good. Puppet plan is just to take the um, Necros cards and then make the water fusion. Uh, Dragon for against the non Necros decks. Two MST. Um, I, I, I don't think Shadows really needs MST outside of like lose a turn and skill drain. But, like I didn't want to just like commit to losing to him, so I sided MST. But I probably went sided against like decks that couldn't play those cards. Mind control probably should have made it. Like, it's kind of good across the board, but like, I mainly wanted it for the mirror and against Necroz, just taking me water fusion. But um, it's pretty solid. I, I could see maining it. But, uh, I don't know. The thing is, I don't like cards that like have to um, like deal with. I, that are forced to deal with like what my opponent's doing. Like, I don't want like cards like Econ or something. I want a card that like I play it and it, like, it, it gives me cards no matter what my opponent's doing. Like this card only like puts me ahead if my opponent's doing something. Um, so like I don't know. I just I don't like having to wait. And, it, it, it usually ends up being like a dead card in your hand for a couple turns before, but and then it's like really broken. So like I have a couple turns worth of being really broken eventually. Um, I played two mistakes. Um, Along with the mistake, I said carrying Gorgon. Um, this is mostly for Necroz, um, but I, I said this in a couple other matchups, like uh, VA. But like the main idea was just to draw a mistake, make a rank four, and then like it's really hard to out against Necroz. Plus, uh, he attacks over Unicorn. He's like the only generic one that attacks over Unicorn. Desmond Johnson to this day. Desmond Johnson to this day. Desmond's going to get banned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Diamond Crab King for uh, Klee. I cited um, Diamond and the other thing for the mirror. And Bernie anyways, it was mostly for the mirror though, because you could just put up Stardust with Diamond. Um, and that's pretty hard to out. Um, and then the second Water Fusion was the other card. I don't know. I like the idea of signing extra deck cards. It's like I have access to a bunch of cards, they're good against their decks. Without having to actually like draw into them, like if I, if I draw, if, if I side like bottomless or something, I have to draw a bottomless. I don't have to draw a water fusion, so I think it makes sense to side extra deck cards. Yep, that's all that. All right, thanks, man. And uh, do you have a name for the book yet? Uh, 
Not, not really. I have a few. I have like a top three probably. So not yet. All right, we'll stay tuned for that one. Thanks, man. Yep. See ya.